Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today I'm back to test three more spray varnish finishes. So if you've watched my videos in the past you'll find that I'm still looking for that perfect finish to turn a painted tile into a heat resistant coaster and I'm still not finding it. But I've got three more products to try today. This one is another Krylon varnish. This is Kamar varnish, how, or however you pronounce it. It says it's non-yellowing protection for oil, acrylic and watercolour, keeps a fresh from the palette look, acid free, free from impurities, etc. I'm thinking this one isn't going to work, but I'm interested to try it anyway, because I think it might make a nice finish for my paintings. So I thought I would um, pop this in my car and give it a try at the same time as these other two. Then I've got this one from the car shop, uh, Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat, multi-purpose coating, protective gloss, long lasting, durability. So there we go, it shows, I don't know what they expect you to do on a motorcycle helmet or a motorcycle or a car, but maybe it's for spraying over paint. Um, it says it's for use over paint, um, resists against fading, chips, stains, weather, corrosion, um, general purpose use, blah blah blah. So I thought I would give this one a try. And then, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. This one is the Duplicolor Engine Enamel Gloss Clear with Ceramic. And this says, withstands heat up to 500 degrees. So this one is designed for painting engine blocks. Therefore, this has got to be some pretty hardy and durable paint that works with very high temperatures. So I'm going to give this one a try too. So they pretty much all have similar instructions and of course make sure that you read all of the safety information on the back of these sprays because it's not necessarily the paint but it's the vapour in the spray itself that creates um, fumes when you use it and that are harmful if you breathe them in. So it obviously says to use it in a well ventilated area so I'm actually going to take all of mine outside to spray them. These two ones from Duplicolor basically are used the same way. It says obviously shake the can um, and then to spray, hold the can 8 to 10 inches from the surface, use an even sweeping motion. They both say to apply two light coats followed by one medium wet coat, allow 10 minutes between coats and apply all coats within an hour. So. I'm going to take all of these outside, I'm going to mark up which tile is which, I'm going to apply the three coats of varnish to all of them exactly as it says in the instructions, throwing all coats within an hour, and then I will come back and report to you on what I found. So the three tiles have all now had three coats of their spray and they've been left to dry for 24 hours. So let's take a look. This one was the Kamar varnish, and you can see the finish that's on there. It's glossy but as I find with most of the sprays you can see all of the little particles. If we just compare this to my polycrylic, this is the finish that I usually get with the polycrylic brush on varnish. And as you can see there's no brush strokes, there's no anything, it's just very smooth and glossy. And then this is the typical finish that I'll get when I'm using a spray. So that's the Kamar. This one is the um, Clear Co Acrylic Enamel from Duplicolor. That's what this one looks like. Again, shiny, a bit more shiny, I think, than the last one. Less, um, less spray particles on that one. And then this third one, this is the um, Gloss Clear Ceramic kind of engine enamel. This is the high heat one and that's the finish on this one. So this one I think probably has the nicest finish of, of all of them. It's um, glossy, you can still see just some spray texture on it, but it's a little bit more glossy than the others. So that's the three of them now completed. So I'm, these have been drying 24 hours, but I'm gonna leave them for three days, and then I'm gonna give them the hot cup of coffee test, and I'll be back to report on how that works out. So I've let these three tiles fully dry for a week and we're now back for the hot cup of coffee test. What I'm going to do first of all is just put a few drops of hot water in the centre of each coaster. One more there. And then my hot cup of coffee goes on the top. These are all the same mug, they all contain the same volume of water and it's all heated to the same temperature. So we're going to sit that on there and I'm going to set my timer for two minutes and then come back and see if any of them are stuck. 
So it's been a couple of minutes, let's see. This one, the first one, is the Kamar varnish. Let's see if it sticks. Yep, that's completely stuck, okay. The next one is the Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat. Let's see. Not stuck at all, interesting, okay. That's good, and our third one is the um, Engine Enamel Gloss Clear. This one stands heat up to 500 degrees. Oh, that felt like it might have been just a little bit stuck. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them all here now for 30 minutes. Oh my goodness, my cat's going crazy in the corner there. He loves a cardboard box. Uh, so I'm gonna leave them for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and see if they're stuck after the 30 minute mark. So it's been 30 minutes, let's see what's happened. Our first one, the Kamar varnish. Yeah, that was stuck. Uh, let's have a look at the surface. The surface doesn't seem to be impacted. I'm not seeing or feeling anything on there. Uh, there's no watermark and there's no marks in the varnish where the, um, the mug has stuck. But still, I think this one, the Kamar varnish, is good for your paintings but not good for coasters because it is going to stick. Number two is our acrylic enamel clear coat. Again, not stuck. Let's take a look. The water hasn't left any marks. There's no marks in the varnish. That looks pretty good. So I think we have a winner there. That one is the Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat Multipurpose Coating. I've seen it with um, the same product but with a slightly different can. So if you're looking out for it, look and see what it's called and maybe the, the can design will be slightly different. But um, in terms of the finish, it's glossy. Um, I do see some, some details from the, the spray. Um, but if it works for coasters because it doesn't stick and doesn't leave watermarks, that's a winner. And our third one is the high heat engine enamel. Yeah, and that one does stick a little bit. So I'm really surprised at this one. This is the one that I thought was going to give us the best results just because it is this um, withstands heat up to 500 degrees. But it may withstand heat, but what it doesn't seem to withstand is the pressure of the cup. So if I wipe the water off, there's no watermarks on there, but there is a little mark in the varnish. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show, but there's a little mark just here where the cup is stuck and left an impression in the varnish. So although this one gave the glossiest finish, um, again, just because it's sticky, for some reason that one didn't work well with the hot cup test. So. With all of these completed, I now think having tried an awful lot of products, this is the only one that I've come up with that works well if you want to finish your tile and use it as an actual functional coaster or trivet. This one is the Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat. And of course I'll put links to where you can get these products underneath the video if you want to give them a try yourself. Thanks very much for watching.